In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Reaper 7. So the next feature I want to show you is visual track spacers. I have a project in front of me here with some drums, bass, guitars, and a vocal. And you can see already I've separated them based on track color. There's a bit green, blue, different colors for each type of sound. But now in Reaper 7, we could also add spacers between the tracks to make it more obvious how our tracks are grouped. So I can go to my kick and right click it, go to visual spacer, and insert a spacer before this track. We'll do the same thing for the overhead, but we'll put one after that track. And now you can see our drums are separated from the bass, making it clearer that these drums go together and not with the other tracks. We could also do it before and after. So I can select the bass and right click it, go to visual spacer, and insert a spacer before and after the track which puts a spacer before and after the bass. But you'll notice it didn't add a new one before the bass because we already had one after the overheads. So we can't add multiple ones in one spot. It's either before or after or not at all. Let's separate the guitars as well. Right click, visual spacer, insert spacer before and after tracks. Now the vocal is separated from the guitars with the bass and drums all separated into different groups, making it clearer the grouping of our tracks, just visually. And we'll see this in the mixer as well. If we open the mixer, here's the drums, here's the bass, guitars, and vocals. And they're separated right here, making it clearer we're working with. Now we could also adjust the size of the spacer. If we go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, and scroll down to appearance, right over here decides the size of our visual track spacers. It defaults to 16, but if we wanna make them smaller, let's try eight, and the spacers are a bit smaller. We can make them 32, now they're bigger, or 64, and they're even bigger. So we can make them any size we want, but it's a global setting, so we can't make different spacers a different size. It's either a spacer at this size or no spacer at all. Let's put it back to the default, which is 16. Now we could also add them in the track manager. If we go up here to view and go to the track manager, we can see right here, another column for our spacers. And this is set up before the track. So if we clear these, we wanna add one before the kick, Click it here, after the overheads, and before the bass, after the guitars, before the vocal, before the guitar, and after the bass. And now we have the same spacers we set up before, after the drums, bass, and guitars. And if we want to remove them at any point, we could do it in the track manager. And they're gone. Or we could do it right over here. Select the tracks we want to remove it from, right click, visual spacer, and remove it before, after, or both. Select all the tracks to remove all the spacers. Now they're all gone. Let's put them back. Now we could also move the spacers right from here. We could drag it up to here to put them in different spots. Or we could duplicate them, control on the PC, command on the Mac, just drag one to here to duplicate the spacer. We could right click the spacer and remove them from here. Move this one and this one. Let's remove them all. And let's add them before and then duplicate it after the drums, after the bass, and after the guitars, which is the quickest way to add them or delete them. Delete it right here, or add it by duplicating it to space out our tracks based on the group of instruments they're in, our drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. So that's the visual track spacers added to Reaper 7. Now the next feature that's been added to Reaper 7 is gain reduction metering. 
I have a project set up here with some drums, bass, and guitars. And if we go to my kick, we can see I have a compressor on this track, as well as on the snare and the room mics. Although the room mics, I'm using a different compressor. But before Reaper 7, in order to see the gain reduction on each track, we need to keep these windows open. And we can see the gain reduction over here on our kick. on our snare, or the room mics. But now we could see it right on our tracks and we could choose it on a track by track basis. So we can go to the snare track and right click it, go down here to meters and choose display gain reduction for plugins that support it. This is only gonna work for certain dynamic plugins like compressors and limiters. So if you're using a third party one, you might want to check to see if it works, but it will work with Rear Comp and the 1175 compressor along with Rear Limit. So we'll choose it here. Now, if we look on the snare in the upper right corner, we should see a gain reduction meter. It's a bit small and hard to tell how much gain reduction we're getting, but it's still good to see that we are getting some. Make the track bigger. It'll make the gain reduction meter bigger as well. And if we want to see it on all the tracks, just select all of them, although we'll deselect the snare and it's already on there. And instead of right-clicking the track, we could also right-click the meter itself. Right-click, go down here to meters, and choose it right here. Display game reduction for plugins that support it. And now we should see a game reduction meter on each track. Including the bass and guitars as I have a compressor on there as well. And we'll also see this in the mixer. Right over here. Over here is the normal meters. And over here is the gain reduction meter. Now if we wanna see it on the master track, just right click, which opens up this dialog, and we can turn it on right here. Display game reduction for plugins that report it. And then we'll see it on the master track as well. And if we want to turn it off, just select all the tracks. We want to turn it off on. Right click, go to meters, and turn it off right here. And then we're back to just seeing our volume meters and not the gain reduction meters. It's just a bit helpful to see what our compressors are doing. And again, this will only show up in Reaper 7. So that's pretty much it. That's what's new in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.